good morning on this beautiful Monday morning. And last night when I went to bed, I looked at the forecast and they said it was going to rain today. In fact, they said it was going to rain all day. Yeah, do you see that sunshine? It doesn't look like rain. Let me show you the sky. Doesn't really look like rain, does it? So, my plans have changed. I was going to make a vegetable lasagna dish. But I think I need to get out here and get some weeding done. Yeah, the weeds have gotten really bad out in the one front garden area and I just like things to look nice. So I think I'm gonna work on that. I'll show you. It's unbelievable how much weeds have grown up. Don't know if you're gonna see all those weeds, but there is a ton of weeds. You know what? That is some hard work. I am really warm. <laughs> but I had to stop because there was a ton of poison ivy growing through all that. And I am extremely sensitive to poison ivy to the point where I get it even if I am never out of the yard. Just It's, a, it's like if the wind blows. Actually, we kind of think it's from the dogs maybe that the dogs get in it and then the dogs come in the house and then I get it that way but yeah so I'm already fighting it because I mean I have it all over my my arms I have it some on my legs I have some on my chest and I've been fighting this for like a month and I thought there's just no way I am going to be doing this so yeah I just quickly went in the house and I I washed up and yeah so that will have to wait and I will have to have my husband get that one but I did get a lot done I, I'm surprised I did get a lot done and anyways just thought I'd let you know that I had to stop but I will talk to you in a little while I think it's time to harvest a lot of this parsley it is really getting big isn't it so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna cut some of this so that I can stick it in the dehydrator look at this parsley isn't it beautiful? Got quite a bit of it. I mean, I really had to pack it in that basket. But that'll be really nice to be able to have some fresh parsley and be able to dehydrate some. So that's good. And there was another thing I wanted to talk to you about. Actually, I just wanted to show you because I've always struggled with hoses. Hoses kinking and I don't know. They just don't seem to make hoses like they used to, right? My husband found something for me and I wanted to show it to you because it really works well for my needs. This hose is called a pocket hose. And when you turn on the water, it gets longer. And when you turn off the water, it gets smaller. It's, it's kind of neat. Uh, I'll turn off the water and you can see what I'm talking about. So we'll need to open up the hose so that it can let the water out. It wasn't that nice. I mean, it's just curled up there in the corner. It's very light, very maneuverable, easy to use, and hassle-free for me. Anyways, I just thought maybe you'd be interested in that. I believe you got that at Home Depot. Our scripture for today's devotion is going to be in Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that for those who love God, 
all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. The Bible shows us that God is sovereign over all. But what does this really mean? The sovereignty of God can be summed up with this simple statement. God is in control, period. This is one of the most beautiful characteristics of God. He is in control and nothing happens outside of his power and his will. This sounds great, but it can be difficult to believe when things in our life are out of control. This is because we often mistakenly associate God's sovereignty with our own control. If things are going good and we feel in control, we can freely say, oh, God is in control. But when things start to spiral out of control, it's easy to question if God is truly sovereign. You know, I grew up believing that if I just did the right thing, that if I treat people with kindness and with a little fortitude and some hard work, all my dreams can come true. Just like in the fairy tales that I loved as a child. But the problem with this fairy tale mindset is life happens. Things don't always go the way we planned. Tragedy strikes. People hurt us. We develop health problems or we lose a loved one. And we wonder, God, are you in control of all this? Where's my happy ending? Are you sovereign? Are you really in control? This is where the truth of God's word meets us in our reality and gives us the hope we all long for. Our verse today, Romans 8, 28, is one of the most hope-filled passages of scripture. The Apostle Paul is telling us that there are many things that will happen to us in life that will not appear as though it's good. Yet, it is hope-filled because Paul is telling us that when those things happen, if you love God and are called according to his purpose, God will work all things together for your good. This is a promise of God to a specific group of people. Who is this promise for? For those who love God and are called according to his purpose. What will work together for their good? All things. But wait, what about the things in our life that we know are not good? Cancer, death, terrorism. All things mean all things. This can be a struggle for us to believe. All things don't seem good for my life. And all things don't seem to be what I want for my life. All things don't seem to be in working with my plans. How could all of this be for my good? The answer is simple. All things can work together for good because God is good. He is sovereign and in control. He sees what we cannot see. He knows when we do not understand. And he has written the end of the story. And the conclusion is for our good. And with that, I want to remind you. Life happens. Enjoy it. Because his story is greater than our current reality. And those who love him and trust him him will experience the fulfillment of his hope 
fulfilled promise that says all things work together for good. So I will talk to you tomorrow and God bless.